booktube it's missy and i have an unexpected book haul for you guys Ta -da! <laughs> um president's day sale was last week and it was 15 percent off the entire uh website and then if you you know uh, what was it called? I don't know. You typed in whatever your information um, a week before the sale started and they sent you a $5 coupon. Uh, the first box that you guys saw is my personal box. Um, I couldn't find enough books to make $35 to use the $5 off coupon. And so I just bought the books before, you know, they went away. And then I decided to look again and do just middle grade books because I have a ton of middle grade books on my wish list that I want to purchase and I bought a whole bunch half of them are for my son the other half is for me and with that one I was able to use the five dollar off coupon so the first box that we are going to go over is um, my books now what's so weird about this um, these packages these boxes is because normally book outlet takes I don't want to say forever but it is coming from the top of the United States near Canada all the way across the country to California so it usually takes about two two and a half weeks this time it took exactly seven days I only bought these books on the 16th so it's so weird to get them in a week that never happens so that's why I was expecting to make this book haul in March um, but now you guys get two book hauls in February so whatever you got the receipt there and all of the paper. All right. The first, I'm sorry, the camera keeps shaking. The boxes are on the bed. Uh, the first book I got is the Mortal Instruments City of Bones. So this is book one in the Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. Um, I have her Infernal Devices in hardcover. And I planned for a really long time to buy this or this series in the box set edition, but I really love this particular um, book cover, and this is the movie cover. And if you guys haven't seen, that's like the New York skyline, and then you go, and in the water is like the, um, yeah, it, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It's the thing, the academy. I'm losing my mind. Um, so I am currently watching uh, Demon Hunters. Sorry, I'm having lots of brain farts today. So I'm currently watching Demon Hunters. Um, I don't have cable, so I have to like wait for it to come out online. And so I am right now I'm on uh, episode two I've only watched until episode two three and four I haven't seen yet um but I really really like this movie cover it doesn't have the naked guy well he's not naked but he there's no chest man on here and I just really like the whole cityscape of this book and it's still you know got the shininess of the original covers so yeah those are the original covers and um, I'll eventually have to buy all of the books in the other cover but I really did want to buy this one that was a really long intro I apologize I really like this book I read this book uh, in 2014 and I really enjoyed it and then I stopped at the first book I haven't read the rest of the series so I want to reread this and then pick up book two next I got a sequel to a book I already own and that is Public Enemies by Anna Guire uh, the other book is oh haha mortal danger but it's in a different cover and i liked the original cover better i don't really care for the chick on the cover with the purple lipstick but um yeah this is the razor land trilogy i can't wait well why does it say razor land trilogy oh she wrote the razor land trilogy this is the immortal game trilogy losing my mind anyways this is book two and I have the first one, and I haven't read it yet, because that's how I do it. I always buy the sequels to books I never read. All right, next I have What Dreams May Come by Richard Matheson. This is one of my favorite um, Robin Williams movies. I absolutely love it, and um, I know people get really um, 
squeamish about talking about religion, but I am super hoping that this is what happens when you die. I would love to live in my own heaven. And this was a beautiful movie, which makes me cry every single time. I can't wait to watch, or not watch, but read the book, the original. Next, I got another sequel, and that is The Golden Specific by S.E. Grove. This is the sequel to The Golden, not Compass, The Glass Sentence. That's the first one. Um, the first one has a really cool uh, dust jacket. And this one doesn't, it's just, you know, it doesn't, there's no see-throughness of this one. But it is purple, and that is really pretty. I like the little mountains there. So I'm excited to read this one too, and it's got deckled edges, which I love. And I haven't read the first one, so I had to buy the second one because it was there. And, yeah, I'm excited. It's about time travel and different continents have different seasons. Oh no, not seasons. I'm sorry, that's a different book. This series is each continent is a different time period. That's what that is. So I'm super excited to read those. And the very last book in this box is Stranded by Melinda Braun. This was on my most anticipated reads of 2015. This is about, um, is, it, is it four? I guess it's just four. Four kids who go out into the woods. I think they're going to go camping and then uh, there's a natural disaster. So it's a survival story and I want to know what happens. So it looked really good. And that was all of just my books. So on to all of the graphic. <sighs> I don't want to retape this. So uh, bear with all of the mess ups, please. This is the box with all the middle grades in it. Let's cut this open. Oh, I'm super excited. Um, if you haven't seen Richard Denny's video of about middle grades and um, you know how you can't be too old to read middle grade, um, I will leave that video down below. It's awesome and I completely agree. You cannot be too old for middle grade. Yay, $5 off coupon. Boogers that this one has to be $35 to use it because sometimes I don't want to spend that much money. Okay, so the oh, middle grades have such cute covers. The first book in the box is The Accidental Afterlife of Thomas Marsden by Emma Trevane. I own her other book, which is Flights, Chimes, and Mysterious Times. I thought it was a really cute middle grade book about a boy who goes into an alternate London. This one is, as you can see, about a boy who accidentally digs up something and sees himself in the grave. So I'm guessing he is a ghost? I don't know, but this cor cover, cover, the cover is gorgeous. Let's see what's underneath. It's just blue and gold. Kind of boring, but the dust jacket is very pretty. Next, I got Here Where the Sunbeams Are Green by Helen Phillips. And this is about two sisters that go to, I think it's the Amazon, to find their father who is a scientist and they don't hear from him after a while and they get scared and so they go to go investigate and find out what happened to him. So I can't wait to read that. There was a lot of mixed reviews on this one. Ooh, I like it, it's green. Um, saying that the kids are kind of snotty and yada yada, they're children. Kids have no filter. They just say what they want, so of course they're snotty. All right, next I got Rump which is the true story of Rumpelstiltskin, and this is by Lessel Shirt Shirtliff? Shirtliff. Lessel Shirtliff, I think. Um, one of my friends, Keely, over at a, a Bibliophile's Journey, gave this a five-star. I trust her opinion. She thought this was really funny and cute, and this is a signed copy. It was only $2.99 for a signed copy, which is super exciting. Um, 
can't wait to read this. I haven't read a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin before, and I love that fairy tale, so yay! The next book I got is totally for my son because it just seems like the perfect book, and that is The Creature Department. Can you see that? By Robert Paul Weston. So cute. It says it's a mix of Monsters, Inc. and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So, oh, that, and they're both shoved into a TARDIS. I'm thinking, yeah, and oh, so cute. There's lots of illustrations in this book. I love books with illustrations. It just helps it go along, you know, gives you something else to look at. So that sounds cute. I can't wait to read that one. And then I have here Any Witch Wall by Laurel Snyder. Drawings by Lewin Pham. And this is about um, a group of kids who can tr time travel. But instead of it being a portal or a door, it's a wall. And I don't know if they walk through the wall or lean on the wall or how it works. But that sounds super cool. And let's see. Ooh, underneath the dust jacket. That's neat. And let's see what the illustrations looks like. Not too many. There's one of them of a princess. So there. I liked it because it had a unicorn on it. Wait, there. <laughs> it's kind of backwards. Okay, next. I got a, I think this is, oh no, it's not a duology. The third book comes out this year. So the first book is uh, House of Secrets. And this is by Chris Columbus, the uh, director, and Ned Vizzini. And um, J.K. Rowling says it's a breakneck roller coaster of an adventure. Um, it's about a house that goes on adventures. Ooh, look at those end pages. So pretty. And there is like a, the all-seeing eye. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It's etched into the... Uh, the book and it's got deckled edges and so yeah I thought my son would really like this and I had to get the sequel because they had it so the sequel is Battle of the Beasts also House of Secrets uh, let's see what's uh, ooh blue and it has the eye still very cool I don't remember what the third book is but I will leave a picture right here. I still can't get used to this stinking camera. All right, so there's that. Two more books in the box. I have Summer and Bird by Catherine Catmull. I, this was a cover by. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love birds. You guys should know that by now. Love them. It's so pretty. And then on the back side, it's a little Two girls walking in the snow. This is a fairy tale. I can't remember if it's a retelling. Um, this also had mixed reviews on Goodreads. Some people said it was really lame. Uh, I don't care. I want to read it. There is the end pages. It's got birds too. And oh, I really hope I like this book because it is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Let's see the inside. Ew, I love it. Look at it. It's got um, birds around the chapter headings. Oh. So, yeah, love. Can't wait to read it. And my very last book in the box is called The Pied Piper of Hamelin by um, Russell Brand and Chris Riddell. I bought it because Chris Riddell illustrates it. Uh, I think this is going to be a series. This one's called Trickster Tales, and people, again, oh, oh, mixed reviews. Look, look how stinking gorgeous. Oh my goodness sakes. Um, people said that this was not appropriate for children, and it's Russell Brand. So, I don't care. I bought it for myself, really. Look at that. Um, I love the Pied Piper, and Russell Brand isn't always funny, but I think he's got like a smart, witty humor that sometimes I just don't get. But um, yeah, I can't wait to read this. 
oh God, the illustrations are amazing, but what do you expect from Chris Riddle? Riddle or Riddle? Riddle? I think it's Riddle. So that, that is all the books. Let me lift up the books and show you guys. Oh, goodness sakes. All right. Ooh. Shoot. <laughs> Let me back up. All righty. So that is all the books. Yay. Um, oh. Let me know down below Ooh. if you have read any of this. <laughs> Let me know down below if you have read any of these books, what you thought of them, what's your favorite middle grade. Do you enjoy the Mortal Instruments series? I can't wait to read all of the books. I know the new one, The Lady in Midnight or something, just came out. But I need to read all of them in order to enjoy the next round of books from Cassandra Clare. Um, I'm just so excited for more books. You know, my husband was telling me the other day, he's like, you know, if you can find a place to put things near the window, you can get another bookshelf, a low one. I'm like, oh! Do I really need Nerf guns? I mean, let me show you. This is my Nerf gun. It has a drum that holds that many. Uh, they're not they're not bullets, they're darts. This is the Raider SCS35. It is amazing and super dusty. And uh, we bought our kids Nerf guns uh, a couple when like Christmases ago, I want to say like four or five Christmases ago. And of course, my gun is the biggest, so when the kids run out of darts, I can still shoot them. But we haven't played with them in a really long time, and I could probably get rid of that. And this extra, the, the lighting system that I got from Amazon came with three stands and umbrellas, and I've only ever used two at a time. I usually just use one. I don't know why people need three, but that just sits on the ground. I don't need all of that. I don't know what to do with it. My house is too small. Um, so yeah, one of these days I'll find a place to put all of the books and they won't be sitting on the ground anymore. That's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I hope you guys enjoyed this unexpected book haul and I will see you tomorrow. I want to do my anticipated March reads tomorrow so look forward to that. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will talk to you soon.